they think you got to put yeah, onions, um, baking grease, bacon and, grease in yeah. your beans. But my beans, you can do anything. You I'm want. telling you, if you make these beans, people will ask you, "What in the world did you do these green beans?" Because they're amazing. They're not going to say, "Hey, these have sugar in them," because they're not going to know. Nope, they're not. This is America. Y'all got to try You can cook your food any way you want. Praise the Lord. <laughs> The first thing you're gonna need is a pot large enough for your green beans. Now, all my other videos that I've shown when I made these green beans, I use stainless steel. But I will say, the way you have to cook these down and they sizzle and pop, stainless steel will get dirty like this and it's a lot harder to clean up. Because of the way I sizzle these and cook them all the way down, if you have a nonstick pot, it actually works better because it's easier for you to clean up and it's also easier to deglaze and get all that goodness into the flavor of the beans instead of on the side of the pot. We're going to start with this non-stick granite five and a half quart pot. It's anywhere from five quarts to six quarts and I do have something like this on the website if you are interested and want to take a look at it. I think it's around $35, the one that I have picked out right now. So we're gonna get started with this. All you do is so simple, is open your green beans. Do not drain your beans. Regardless of whatever somebody's told you, whatever your granny did or your mama did, don't drain them. Just try them this way one time. Now this is the large can. You can use a large can for this recipe or you can use three cans of the smaller cans. You want them to be cut, okay? Because that's how you grow them in the South. We don't grow French green beans, okay? So the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna use an eighth cup of cooking oil. Now, cooking oil can be olive oil or corn oil, whatever you wanna use, vegetable oil, canola oil, but I have found that this extra light virgin olive oil makes them taste really good, for real. So we're gonna put that in there. The next step, believe it or not, is sugar. All right, we're gonna get a tablespoon of sugar out of here and we're gonna sprinkle it on the beans. We're gonna put these on the stove and cook them on high heat. It doesn't matter if you have electric or gas, just cook them on high heat. Because really all we're doing is boiling the juice off of them. So we're just gonna turn on the heat and we're gonna get these beans started. Now if you're in a hurry, you can put a lid on them so that they come to boil faster. And I think I'll do that today. This pot and the one that I have on the website comes with a silicone lid which I really like, and it also has a vapor hole in it. So we're gonna put this on the beans and bring them to a boil. Once they have cooked almost all the way down, I'll come back and show y'all what my secret to make these taste so good is. So you need to take the lid off of it once it starts boiling so that it can lose some of the juice. Now this is the time that I think a lot of people stop cooking their beans because many people cook them and they think they're cooking my granny green beans, but they're too scared to cook them all the way down. And if you don't hear a sizzle and a pop and them being completely dry on the bottom, then your beans are not going to taste like my granny green beans. This recipe is in our first cookbook. It is very popular and most people that try it absolutely love it. Now this sugar and this oil are going to come together at the end once all of this liquid cooks down and they're gonna form a brown glaze and that glaze is what's going to make these beans taste so good. Some people say it's so good that it's changed their life. All right, now they've started to sizzle and you can hear them and they're sizzling, and that's what you want them to do. So if you pull them back, you can see that there's a lot less juice, but there's still a little bit. So you, you can't even let it have a little bit. All of that has to sizzle off in order for them to start to glaze. 
And once they start to glaze, you'll start smelling them. They have a real good aroma. And you'll know it because you'll smell it. Okay? All right. They've been sizzling a good three or four minutes. I'm going to take a masher. And I'm not going to just mash them to death. But I am just going to mash in about three places. Three or four places. And then we're going to stir them. And that's what makes people think they came out of your can. Because they got just enough to smash in them and hold that they look homemade. They look just like you canned them. And they're going to taste like it too. I'm still going to let them sizzle because I don't quite smell that smell I'm looking for. Did you hear that pop? You want to hear them start popping a little. I think they're ready. When you get them done, make sure you run them around the edges to get all the glaze off the edges of the pot. They're ready to serve. Yum. Green beans. Show you how pretty these are. And they smell so good. And I know it sounds crazy because it has the sugar in there, but we cook it down so much, they're not real sweet. Uh, so don't think you're going to taste like a candied sweet potato or anything crazy like that. They're really, really good. Let's taste them, y'all. Now, this is the bigger can, but with the same amount of sugar that I put in three cans. They're actually a little saltier because there's not as much sugar as if it, they would have if they were three cans of green beans, but they're really good. Chris, will you come taste them? It's Tammy and Chris with Colored Valley Cooks, and tonight we're making granny green beans. And you know what? A lot of people frown on this recipe because it has what in it, Chris? Sugar. But how good is it? Well, we'll see. Let's see how good it is. It's hot, baby. Can you taste the sugar in those? All the sugar does is glaze on it and give it a nice glaze. And it makes the salt just pop. pop. Like crazy. It's, it just it enhances the flavor. Of it the is beans. so good. You can't taste any sugar. Nope. So for all of you people that would say, I'm a real southerner, I would not put sugar. Like, southerners don't put sugar. And they also think you they have to put sweet tea, onions. You know, like, <laughs> they think you gotta put yeah, onions, um, baking grease. Baking and, grease in yeah. your beans. But my beans, you can do anything you I'm want. telling you, if you make these beans, people will ask you, what in the world did you do these green beans? Because they're amazing. They're not gonna say, hey, these have sugar in them, because they're not gonna know. Nope. They're not. This is America. Y'all got to try this. You can cook this. your food any way you want. Praise the Lord. 